Greetings, my esteemed audience. As you have perhaps already seen, the great publishing house Inner Traditions has come under attack from a mob of left-wing extremist haters. The reason for this is that they have published the books, the fine works of Julius Evola and these books in particular. Introduction to Magic, I've read them and greatly enjoyed them. I can recommend them for everyone who's interested in esoteric matters. Now I have a lot to say both about Julius Evola and of leftists and of being open-minded. So first and foremost to any leftist who might be watching this video, I find it supremely hilarious that you label yourself, many of you, as Wiccans and witches and then you participate in a witch hunt against a heretic. The heretic in this case is inner traditions for publishing these heretical works of Julius Evola. Now here is an insight I will share to everyone. It might come as a surprise to many of you, but you can actually read books by an author which you do not otherwise like or agree with. Or another great surprise, you can even read books about an individual whom you do not otherwise sympathize with. So I just read this Alistair Crowley in India by Tobias Churton. It's a nice book. I'm not a fan of Aleister Crowley. You all know what I think of drugs, you all know what I think of degeneracy, and this is the, the arch prince of degeneracy right here, Aleister Crowley. Nonetheless, I appreciate reading about him so I can gain new insights, new perspectives, so I can expand my own worldview, so I can get some nice insights into Buddhism and whatnot. It's nice to read about other individuals, so do not be afraid to be a bit open-minded, read things from the perspective of others. Now I will say the following as well, that I have my own critique of Evola, which I have formulated upon actually reading the books. So I've read many books of Evola, many of them are published by Inner Traditions and some of Arctos, also a great publishing house. Then I have read his works and I have decided, okay, this is not in congruence with my own worldview, I respectfully present my opinion on my homepage, thegoldenone.se, you can read all of the uh, book reviews there, they're open, accessible for anyone to read, so you can read about my critique of Evola there, I've made a video on Evola also, I can link it in the description box, and I've also made a podcast episode on the good old Baron, so I disagree with Evola on a lot of different topics, but I still enjoy reading his, his esoteric, his magical writings, because they give me new insights, and especially these books right here, if you are interested in magic or the esoteric, do read them, they're good books. So for this leftist, left-wing extremist, witch hunter haters, um, for them to attack inner traditions for publishing books by Evola, it's um, complete madness. So just as it's obvious that they would publish books about Aleister Crowley, because Aleister Crowley, you don't need to like him, but you need to acknowledge that he has been an important figure for the occult tradition in the West, or the world for that matter. Same thing Julius Evola, if you're interested in esoteric matters, you have to acknowledge that Julius Evola has been an important individual for said tradition. Very simple stuff. Now also, I thought to mention something, I recently read a book, also by Inner Traditions, this looked very interesting, Alchemical Tantric Astrology. Now the author, he seemed to be quite woke, the book was quite woke, so I didn't talk about it, I didn't recommend it, and if anyone asks me, I will say that I did not particularly enjoy it. Now, I don't throw a tantrum, I don't get angry at Inner Traditions for publishing a left-wing author, I simply expect them to publish a wide variety of authors. Some of them might be left-wing, some of them might be more right-wing then. So it's good to have a, you know, a broad spectrum of different authors. And then you can look at what you find interesting yourself. And now also, since we are on the topic of... Some commentary from, uh, from my baby there. She agrees with my profound insights here. Now anyway, I saw a genius in the comment section on Instagram saying that Evola referred to himself as a super fascist. And that means that he was beyond fascism. And if you want to read something about it, you can read this. A traditionalist confronts fascism. Selected essays by Julius Evola. Published by Arctos. So if you think fascism is oh so bad, then yeah, you can read this book and uh, you will get Evola's own take on fascism. This, of course, it requires an open mind, and I know that's 
beyond the intellectual capacity of most leftists. But if you are the a rare breed of leftists with um, you know the capacity to think outside of the box, then you can read this book if you want to get Evola's take on um, on fascism. And also, since we are on the topic of Evola, I can also recommend this fine book, The Mystery of the Grail. This is where Evola shines the brightest when he talks about historical, mythical things like that. Absolutely epic stuff indeed. Now, there are some things to think about, of course, when you read Evola. Some of his teachings, they are outdated. Some of the things he writes in his books, they are outdated. So to just take one example when it comes to the early European farmers juxtaposed against the warlike Indo-Europeans. Now, it was believed back in the day that the early European farmers, they were matriarchal and peace-loving. Nothing could be further from the truth. They were enthusiasts and enjoyers of ultra-violence, just as the Indo-Europeans. So both patriarchal, both violence enjoyers. So this is something Evola gets wrong, but this shouldn't detract you from enjoying the, the other writings um, of his. So he gets some things wrong, he has some perspectives every once in a while that they aren't in congruence with my own thoughts, perhaps. But again, you can read my critique on my page. Now, also, since we are on the topic, I thought to give a shout out to Inner Traditions. Actually, most of the books you've seen me review, they are from Inner Traditions. And that is yet again because they have such a wide variety of books. And uh, for me, you know, reading about esoteric stuff over the last two years has been an absolute joy. So two books in particular, in addition to... My first love, my first esoteric love, my first um, book I read basically about esoteric matters, The uh, Icelandic Magic by Stephen E. Flowers, I can highly recommend it. Uh, it's uh, very interesting, quite concise and easy to read as well. And then we also have Temple of the Cosmos. It gave me a completely new insight and appreciation for Egyptian religion and metaphysics. Very good stuff indeed. I wrote a review on it as well that you can check out. Or you can just order the book directly if you're interested in Egypt. And then, of course, since we're all enthusiasts, we're all devotees of Mithras here. So this is a book about Mithras, so the Greco-Roman Mithras, as well as the Persian Mithra. And though, of course, they share a common Indo-European root. So this is a very nice book indeed as well. I will talk more about Mithras in coming videos. Now, I also want to say to all left-wing extremists, if you're a leftist and you might be watching this, shame on you, shame on you for calling yourself a witch and then you participate gladly in this witch hunt without even knowing what on earth you are talking about. So instead of hating on the author, Julius Evola, do read his books instead and then you can formulate a, a critique after you have actually read the works. So stop being a hateful leftist. It's good for your mental health, I can definitely assure you. Now, lastly, I want to give a shout out again to Inner Traditions for yeah, bringing so many interesting books to the world and definitely for bringing the works of Evola to the world as well. It is truly appreciated. I will leave a link in the description box below to Inner Traditions so you can check out their um, all of their interesting books. Now, anyway, that all being said, thank you for watching. Do check out all links in the description box below. Do, of course, read my own two books, Dauntless and Demigod Mentality. It will be a perfect Yule gift, a Christmas gift as well. So, yeah, great stuff. Great stuff indeed. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. XXO. Boom. It's me.